Hey guys, Cody here, and uh, in this video I'm going to do something a little different. I figured I'd actually explain what I was doing as opposed to, you know, just uh, just trying to do it outside where there's so much you know, wind and noise and all that other stuff. So basically in this video I'm, uh, I'm going to show you how I did a poured painting. I actually messed up making it, so please forgive me, but I'm going to show you kind of how I did it. So first off I started with a kind of a, a brownish, like a sienna i want to say like a burnt sienna almost um and basically i just kind of give it a base coat this is just really a toned ground to uh in case paint doesn't stay like or if it spreads out on the canvas but there's gaps it at least has some color in the background um i also wet it down and spread it out so that when i pour the paint on uh, it actually spreads out a little easier so you can see that i'm just kind of spreading it out across the uh, the canvas and this canvas is just one that I had laying around so I was really just messing around okay so another thing that I kind of messed up on in doing this because I hadn't done a poured painting in a while so I kind of forgot how I used to do it but uh, this video is a good reminder of what to do what not to do so one thing is is like one I didn't use enough paint um, when I made it and two I actually did not um, the paint was not wet enough so you'll want it not soupy but you want it runny so that when you when you move the cup around it actually swishes around in the cup um, I didn't actually wet my paint down beforehand so the paint is actually a little too thick um, so yeah that was kind of a mistake that I made Dan. so you can see that I'm trying to move it around it's just not going anywhere um, so I did add some more paint and then I did spray it down some more uh, to kind of get it to move. Now I would suggest, I mean, I'm just using water because I use a, a latex gloss enamel. Um, but I would definitely recommend making sure that your water, your paint already has some water in it. Um, like, you know, that it's at least watered down, you know, whether you use oil or, uh, or acrylic like I do. Um, you know, just water it down just a little bit so that it spreads across the, you know, the canvas a little more. So, again, I didn't do that and I kind of kind of learned my lesson from it. Um, so, be sure to do that. So, really all I'm here, all I'm trying to do here is just trying to get it to move. Um, and I actually spread it a lot, but... It actually turned out pretty decent still. So you can see I'm, I'm uh, shaking it, kind of uh, tapping it on the ground. I actually probably used too much water. Um, but it looks kind of cool. I mean, it's not bad. Um, and I add some more yellow just because I wanted a little more color. It looked like it was kind of too dominant of simple colors. So I added a little bit more. And then it actually ran too much because I sprayed it too much. And again, because initially it started too thick, I actually added too much water. So um, anyway, I at this point, I kind of was okay with it. I actually was pretty, pretty happy with it. So here, all I did was just kind of coat the sides with the, uh, the paint that was there. And that's because I liked the look of it. Um, so yeah, I just kind of did that and um, just to get it to move a little bit more, I tilted it and then that was it. I was pretty happy with it. So that's how I made a, this poured painting again. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I added a little bit. Sprayed it, smeared it, and then I kind of just wiped it off actually. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, like I said, um, if you're going to do it, Pour it all on there, give it a toned ground, but make sure that your paint can run pretty easily before you try to spray it around, or you'll just end up wasting paint and it won't really move. Um, but other than that, that's how it turned out, and I was actually pretty happy with it in the end. So, uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.